Welcome to Comic Shop News. I'm Dan, and this week we're going to be going over one of my favorite zombie movies from the 80s, and that is Return of the Living Dead. Return of the Living Dead is one of those movies that it's just total 80s cheese to a point. There is this dark humor to it that I enjoy that um, after watching all of the Romero, Night, Dawn, Day, you get this movie, which is kind of farcical at points. Um, the actors play off each other really well. Uh, the main protagonists, sort of antagonists too at the same time. You have uh, Clue Gulager, Gul I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Um, he plays Bert. Um, his two employees are James Karen, uh, who is playing Frank. And then we have Freddy, who is played by Tom Matthews, which some would remember as Tommy Jarvis, who is in Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, which is a favorite of mine. Also, you see some other Friday the 13th alums. Uh, the punk Suicide uh, played the guy Vic with the axe that kills Joey. And also in this, you have... Um, demon from friday the 13th part five um who had the greatest oh damn enchiladas and singing in the porta potty at the trailer park uh it just it's a fun movie um starts out with tom matthews his freddie and frank work for bert at a medical warehouse and they accidentally unleash this gas out of a tank uh, they pass out, and they wake up, and they're not feeling good. They're sick, and they realize something's wrong, and they hear this barking, this yipping sound, and it's a dissected-in-half dog, and it's yipping and moving. They, they wail on it. Um, there is a trend in this movie of Frank and Freddy kind of complaining, whining, and kind of moaning a lot and kind of they're they're completely just a disaster together are we going crazy no it's that crap on the tanks and goddamn chemicals it's all over everything stupid asshole watch your tongue boy if you like this job like this job or think think we gotta call the cops no, 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 you don't want to call the cops? You know what the cops will do to this company? Who cares about the company? Well, think of my reputation. Of your reputation. Think! Think! What about the number on the side of the tank? The one that said to call in case of an emergency. No, that's the army. You know what the goddamn army around this place? Yeah. Think! Well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, basically, if you let Abbott and Costello loose, but they were worse bumblers. Um, we were also introduced at a certain point freddie's girlfriend and her punk friends uh the punk friends include linnea quigley as trash uh the guy suicide who is the tough uh punk with the leather and the chains um demon and um i forget a couple of the other characters names but they 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 stay in the movie almost the whole movie uh they decide they're gonna go pick up freddie from work and as this is happening, the dead have started to rise, um, especially after they take the body that they found and hacked apart to Ernie, who is the mortician, to burn. When they put the body to be burned, the chemicals that were infecting that body sh go up into the sky. It starts raining and it comes back down and just saturates the earth where everything starts coming up. Um, in between this is happening, I think every pubescent, prepubescent boy who ever watched this on cable will remember Linnea Quigley as trash doing one of the most insane dances and ripping her clothes off and dancing in the grave. Do you ever fantasize about being killed? Never. Do you ever wonder about all the different ways of dying, you know, violently. I wonder, like, what would be the most horrible way to die? 
try not to think about dying too much. Mm. Well, for me, the worst way would be for a bunch of old men to get around me and start fighting and eating me alive. I see. First. I, I The movie, it's somewhat comedy, dark humor. It, it keeps going and building. There is a scene where one of the dead bodies they have strapped down and Ernie the Mortician's talking to her to her and says like and asking what's what are they feeling and they the body says it can feel itself rotting and the only thing that makes it better is eating brains uh the police have gotten annihilated trash has been eaten the military eventually gets involved uh it's tightening um if you want to watch this movie it is on Tubi the app you can get it on iOS and uh, I believe Android store. Um, I've got it on my Apple TV. It's on there free. Uh, pretty decent horror selection. Not as good as popcorn flicks, but really damn good. I also recommend Pluto TV as well if you can find it on there. Um, a lot of old school horror movies like uh, Prom Night and Slumber Party Massacre. Uh, as this goes on, uh, Clue, Clue is playing Bert is just fantastic as kind of the Bud Abbott straight man where you know he's he's the idea man I th this is a wonderfully fun movie um, again it you can watch it for free with that app I, I recommend watching it if you're into a zombie movie I mean some people prefer the serious over the over the top just serious zombie movies this is not it this is kind of weird to say a funny dark comedy movie uh out of 10 i would probably give this about a six to seven uh the effects are pretty good uh this is weirdly dan o'bannon from alien a follow-up movie for him and just enjoy it um for what it is it ends on a glib note where the military basically shoots missiles and blows up the town, uh, eradicates it. Uh, there is also one of the coolest zombies that I've seen in the movie. They call him Tar Man, and he's the guy who came out of the cryopod. Uh, the acting, you know, you, you, you get what you pay for here. I mean, it, it is about mid-budget. Um, it's... You know, in the 80s, what they thought punk was. But most of all, what this movie is, is just good fun. It, it's hard to describe a horror movie as being fun, but this is like a popcorn movie. You put it on, you're entertained, you know, you get a couple of laughs, it's over, and you sort of just walk away from it. It, it is what it is. Um... I wouldn't say it's gory though. The, um, there, there is um, just a lot of full frontal nudity with Linnea Quigley, and this was her and her her prime. Like, she was at her apex of scream queen level fame, I guess you could call it. Uh, if you also want to learn more about this movie, on YouTube, there is a documentary called More Brains. I'm not sure what it came from, but the entire documentary is on there. And it's pretty incredible and fascinating because where some of these actors came from and some of the issues that were going on during the shooting. Totally recommend watching that and just getting a little bit more of the facts, especially what they had to do with Linnea Quigley's dancing scene where... They had to keep bouncing things back of, could she have hair? Did she have to be shaved? Did they have to put a merkin on? They're like crazy, like weird stuff that you probably wouldn't think about, but they had to go through this movie. Um, it's going to be a shorter review than I thought it was going to be. Um, I just watched it again for the first time in about six years. I uh, still love the movie. Um, plenty of sequels. I'd say after part three stop watching the sequels because they just get worse and worse 
Uh, the last one I remember watching the whole way through was Rave to the Grave. And it is abysmal. Um, it had zombie ecstasy. Yeah, zombie ecstasy, that is a thing. And there was these weird foreign dudes that came to this rave. Uh, yeah, boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, Necropolis is also horrible. Uh, part three was the weird love story. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get to reviewing that because I I didn't love that movie as much as other people do, except for Melinda Clark during her Apex. Um, just Google her, you'll see why. Um, anyway, uh, rent it, stream it, buy it. I, I would actually say this is worth buying. Um, I'm not sh I'm f don't know if the Scream Factory edition is still out there for purchase, uh, but it is one that you should have in your collection or in your digital locker. Uh, anyway, I'd like to thank you for joining me, watching, uh, comment, share, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, again, Thank you and good night.